Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Bell, and during this module, we are going to talk about uh, monitoring and regulating for quality in early learning programs. As an administrator, you, A, number one, have to know what quality is, and number two, how do you maintain it? And you do this through monitoring your program and making program improvements. So we're going to look at what that is and, and ways to improve your program and monitor your program. We're going to talk about some specific monitoring tools like um, NACI accreditation, or another kind of accreditation that focuses on programs for young children. We're going to look at the ECHRs, um, Early Childhood Environment Rating Scale, or the ITERS, the Infant Toddler Environment Rating Scale, um, the Program Assessment Scale, uh, Administration Scale that you have to do for this class. Um, in addition, we're going to talk about um, um, some more aspects of discipline and guidance and how to keep quality going in infant toddler programs. And um, it's time for us to look ahead. Uh, the observations and interviews should be due this week, but check your syllabus because remember the syllabus schedule rules over these videos. Um, and you want to also start looking into your guidance plan um, assignment because that's coming up soon. And your guidance plan assignment just as a brief overview, you want to think about, as an administrator, how would you ask for child guidance to take place in your program? How would you discipline the children in your program? What would be your policies? Who would do the disciplining in what circumstances? What would be your severity clause? A severity clause is, what, is a deal breaker. Um, what would your, be your expectations for staff? What would be your expectations for children? What would your expectations of families be when it comes to guidance and discipline? Um, the rubric is extremely open-ended, and it's that way on purpose. I don't want to hand you um, this is how to do guidance, because it's different for every program and every group. I want you instead to think about that, and then using the resources that we've used in this class and resources that you find on your own, write me up a guidance plan and say, here's how I would do guidance if it was my school. Here are my connecting, how, here's how I would build connections in my school. Here's how I would ask the teachers to respond to misbehavior. Here's how I would prevent misbehavior. When misbehavior occurs, here's how I would expect the parents to um, be involved and be a part of it. Um, so have fun exploring the resources in this uh, module and thinking about how you do your guidance plan. And um, don't forget to email me if you have questions.